This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to view and manage responses in Google Forms. We'll show you how to manage form responses, including how to stop collecting responses so that no new information comes into your form, as well as how to view responses in forms as a summary of graphs or other ways of viewing the data, and finally, how to create and view the data in a spreadsheet. Let's get started. To begin viewing responses, you first need to access the file that has the questions in edit mode, not the version of the file that you shared with participants. So in other words, this is what people were viewing, a link that we provided them. I know this because it ends in the word view form, but I want to look at the one that ends in edit, which I have to find from my Google Drive. Once you're in the editable version of the form, you're going to click on responses up at the top. You'll see a number that will display the quantity of responses you've received to date. I'm going to click on responses and it will change my view and show me the responses in summary form. At any time, if you would like to stop collecting responses, you can do so by flipping the lever up in the top right corner where it says accepting responses. Pulling this lever over will mean that anyone clicking on the link that you provided to the form will receive a message that prevents them from submitting a new response and will display whatever message appears here. If you want to customize the way in which you stop accepting responses so that it happens more automatically, then you would do so by utilizing an add-on called Form Limiter. In order to access add-ons, you would need to have this puzzle piece up here in the top corner of your form. If you don't see it or you're not seeing the form limiter add-on, click the three dots on the top right and choose add-ons. If this doesn't appear or you seem to be unable to get the form limiter add-on, reach out to your administrator and they can turn on this feature for you. I always focus on the summary. You can also look at individual questions or individual responses. I don't find these terribly helpful, so I'm going to focus on summary for the purpose of this video. In here, you will find each question, and if it's appropriate, it will provide a graph summary of the responses. Keep in mind that you can look at this at any time while responses are coming in. It will actively update these graphs and display the most current data throughout the time that you're collecting. As you scroll down, you'll notice that depending on the type of question, the graph will be formatted differently. Sometimes there'll be bar graphs or pie graphs, and these are based on the type of data that um, is being pulled based on the question type. If you have a graph that you would like to reuse, you can hover over the graph area and click the copy chart icon that appears in the top right corner, and then you can paste this into a report of some sort, whether a document or a slide deck. If you want to view the responses in a spreadsheet, at the top of the form you'll notice a green icon and hovering over that will allow you to click and create a new spreadsheet. If you've already created a spreadsheet, this icon will allow you to access the spreadsheet of responses. I'm going to click on this icon so that it will bring me into the responses spreadsheet. Remember, you can always go from the spreadsheet back to the form, and you can do this because when you're accessing a spreadsheet of form responses, you will see the word form at the top of the spreadsheet. This is unique and only appears in Google Sheets that are attached to a form. By clicking the word form, I can go to the live form that respondents would see, or I can go to the edit form back to where I was just a moment ago, where I could view the response summary. Thanks for watching. Remember to check us out online at teachingforward.net or visit our YouTube channel by going to youtube.com slash teachingforwardnet.